Portland, this side. In the left circle. Now out in the left circle. Now straight. Now stop. <laughs> now back up. I'm going to stay with this now if I can. What's in my eyes? Oh, no. <laughs> Down on the show. Yeah. see you in a few days okay bye so hi guys back with another video i think it's been a couple of weeks since i've i've put one on myself now i know tanya um did put one on it was a a little dog a little dog training one uh we tried trained a little spaniel uh when we were away in the in the middle in uh, malvern to a, a show up there and uh, i just like to say i'm not getting into dog training at all it was just something that i play with now and again and by the way that dog is doing really 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 well and i know there's loads of different ways of doing it and some treat i wanted to just try and the, the, the little things i have done with dogs i haven't given any treats because i think uh, with a lot of dogs uh, they really want to please and if you can kind of make our idea their idea it kind of works really really well i find but no i'm not going into dog training and uh, i didn't it was Tanya's idea to put that on. I uh, just wanted to throw that out there. But the dog's doing absolutely fantastic. And I, and I do know that I would use a slightly different method if it was a bigger dog, because I know a lot of, Tanya said a lot of people said, oh, what would you do if it was a bigger dog? Well, obviously, then you do the other things. Um, but with little dogs. Now, Tanya has just told me that we've had uh, a message through, well, I mean, the last minutes, really, because uh, she gets, Tanya gets loads of messages saying how well that, method worked on their on their obviously smaller dogs so do you want to read it Tan? I, I haven't even i haven't heard it she it said says, it's a really good message i know you weren't 100 percent on tanya showing the video of you training the dog not to pull but i'm ever glad ever so glad she did i have a male 10 month old german shepherd pup my cousin has his sister i've always trained my dogs to walk nicely on a leash and never allow them to pull my guy is doing great but i do have to correct and pull to release. My cousin's dog was not doing so well. I've taken my cousin's dog to work with her and I thought I'd give your method a go. Well, what can I say is, oh my God, I can't believe it, how successful it was. She understood exactly what I wanted to do within 15 minutes. I've done two sessions with her now and the difference was mind blowing. So I thought I'd try it with my guy. He did pick it up as quickly, but after half an hour walking up and down the lane, he was beside me with no pressure. I can't thank you enough for this tip. It worked incredibly. By the way, I'm a 71 year old and my cousin is 76. So you can see how important it is for our dogs not to pull on a leash. Thank you again, and thank you for Tanya. Our sincerest thanks, Jackie and Lauren, Laura, uh, Laura from Ontario, Canada. P.S. I'm also a horsewoman, and I love your videos. <laughs> so that's you know, so without a doubt, that, that little thing I did is just definitely helped some people. Well, that that's absolutely great. So this video, I haven't been on for a couple of weeks because because of my mum passing, and I've had quite a few things to sort out. And we'll be going to uh, her funeral in two weeks' time. But it's about 300 miles for me to go up there. Uh, but in saying that, uh, my mom, my mom, we were a very close family. Uh, my mom was a wonderful person. And in fact, my sister keeps sending me pictures of my mom that a lot I haven't seen. And these have just come through as well, uh, uh, probably about an hour ago. Uh, and I'll just quickly show those actually now. Pictures I haven't seen before. And my mum and dad, actually, I'll just quickly show you. I think she deserves to be shown on one of my videos, that's why. So I'll show you that now. So, guys, this is this is my mum. Um, only an hour ago, my sister sent me some pictures, obviously, found in my mum's belongings. 
Um, and these are some pictures. I've not seen them before. Uh, that's my dad and my mum. It's quite, quite a stunning couple, I think. Um, there's my mum there. And my dad and my mum there. But yeah, uh, there's lots of pictures coming out of the woodwork now. So they're lovely to have, aren't they? So I'm heading on to into the, our bar, our Western bar. And there's a picture here, which I'm going to get up on the chair. And there you go. That's a picture of my mum. One of the very few times she came to Pembrokeshire, because I'm about 300 miles from where mum was, where we grew up. And that's a, a rare time she came and we took her down to the beach. And um, she, I'm sure she had a way with horses because Buck just took to her. Uh, maybe that's where I got some of my mine from. But, uh, yeah, there's my mum. Really, really thanks guys. Tanya put, put, asked me to say a few things, uh, write a few things down. And Tanya put a post on my own uh, Facebook page, which I never go on really. And there was like a, a lot of people sent condolences. So thank you to everybody. And uh, yeah, it's uh, dying to part of living. And, uh, and, and, that, and that's uh, last thing I'll say about my mom is um, my mom had a very full life and she we, it was four kids and she always said, uh, always thought the world of us all would do anything to, to keep us on the straight and narrow uh, and keep us happy. Now, my mum's wish was always to not succeed her children, in other words, not lose a child while she was alive. That turned out um, to happen because we're all still about. And also though, to be uh, surrounded by her kids. And it was really weird. I was 300 mile up there uh, I wouldn't have made it if I was down here and it was as if, uh, you know, it, it was meant to be. And I rushed there and literally got there and mum mom passed within within minutes, really. So that's all I'll say about that now. And uh, we'll get on with, the, with this video. It's a great video, guys. Just been through all the bits now. What a cracking video. There's everything in it. Basically, me and Tanya go away for a few days. There's horses that couldn't be caught. There's horses that won't, that you can't um, bring the head down for bridles. There's, there's, there's all sorts in it, all sorts of different animals as well. So uh, there's a lot of learning there for people to be had, a lot of fun. I hope you enjoy the video and uh, we'll get straight to it. Let's go. So hi guys, uh, we're off again. <laughs> this is Thursday. Tanya. <laughs> uh, this is Thursday. I've got a, quite a big, demo and clinic on Saturday in Portland uh, and we've we've loaded up now everything's loaded up and uh, I've done all the feeds ready got pretty much I did a list of things I wanted to take uh, that's all ready uh, Nita's going with us uh, I've got her all set up there the windows are open not too hot today although it's a beautiful day um, Tanya's got her shop all sorted out Ready for people who want to buy any bits and pieces. That's all the stuff there. She always takes the table. We've had some more Boygin sticks made. So I'm sure they'll be they'll be snapped up. So we're pretty much ready now to set off. Uh, it's very serene and very quiet today. There's the new girl. Settling in quite well actually now. They're much, much, much better. Hello girl, are you all ready to look the part and make me look like I know what I'm doing. <laughs> so yeah, I'm pretty sure I've got everything. So yeah, we'll be leaving in a minute, setting on our journey to Portland. That's where the clinic is and the demo. Portland, uh, tomorrow, which is Friday, I'll be helping the equestrian centre with a few horses and basically getting ready for the demo. You ready? I'm ready. <laughs> is that the last thing? Yes, my Prosecco. Oh, your Prosecco. Right then, so we're heading off now. And uh, should the journey go well, I've checked all the oils and everything you got to do. So we'll be off. Bitch in a bit. Whenever, whenever we're going anywhere, Molly always comes looking. Always comes looking. Come on, Molly. You always do this. She always goes under the lorry when we're going anywhere. It's like she knows. It's like she knows. Come on, Molly. <laughs> Look, she disappears. Oh, Hello, Max. Hello, Max. 
Bye. Bye, Max. Crawling on your belly, crawling on your... <laughs> she knows we're going as well. So Charlotte be in a bit to look after things. So it's always good having Charlotte coming each day for looking after things. So I think we're gonna load up now and we'll be on our way. Charlotte on the phone, see if we've left yet. Uh -huh. Ciao. How are you doing? Oh, no, I didn't mean to. I think I pressed it by mistake. Dad's just loading Nita. Okay. So we'll see you in a few days. All right then. Okay, Nita. bye. Nita. She said. Nita. She said. You, where are you taking this fire? Yeah. And you have to get a coffee and a sandwich. Hello, Nita. How you doing? How you doing, Nita? Hey, eh? how you doing? Hey, eh? you don't seem too bothered. Are you sweating up? Not at all. Always good to check. Always good to check. And it, it's excelling itself this morning, averaging 32 to the gallon. But I'm going really steady. Looking for Tanya now. She's gone ahead to our digs, and uh, I said, "I want to know where you are." She said, "She gave me a clue." She says, "I'll be your squaw tonight." So I don't know what that means. Look at the ocean there, look. Um, so, oh. <laughs> oh my God! Look, it's got to be that. There's definitely no other one, so I would say it's got to be there. So, so obviously, those are there compost toilets that's a big thing going around at the moment uh, it's got to be in there it is in here <laughs> oh this is ridiculous <laughs> oh this is awesome oh you're right at home there bab <laughs> it's a bit windy isn't it oh my life is she gonna stay they've only just set it up haven't they Oh, that's where it catches the rain. Look, and then goes out there. And the spiders. Yeah. Spiders. Look at that, guys. Awesome. Wow. And there's the arena. But tomorrow, getting some water on it because it has been very dry here. Um, obviously, with the way everything's sort of crisped up with a grass being so brown. It's in the evening now. Just come to check on Nita again. How are you doing Nita? Oh, 
brought Nita out for a little walk tonight. And I'm noticing there's horses literally everywhere. Horses everywhere. Horses in there. After all those hours in the trailer. And there, there's loads of horses here, look. Loads. The uh, demo. Isn't it neat? Huh? Who's coming over here then to say hello? Who's coming over here? I think this is an old boy or girl. Okay, you're a bit of an oldie. You're a nice. So Nita's all settled in for the night. Let's see if I can zoom in. She's got a sea view. She's got a sea view and there she is, look. And there's horses next door. Water there, haylage. And a bit of... Not much a lot, not a lot of grass, is there? But she's well, she's okay. She's okay. So uh, that's the end of an evening. We had a lovely meal. Oh, they'll give us a little table here, look. And is Tanya asleep? Is she not? Tanya? Tanya? Oh, oh. It's a bit noisy. What? Up there. <laughs> it's flapping. Oh, we should have brought the earplugs. <laughs> oh, she's a bit noisy. Oh, they'll soon sort that out. Well, we're the uh, first ones in here, Bab. Yeah, so, guys, I'm in, I'm in the uh, teepee. Just about to go to sleep. And I could hear, I know. Nita's Winnie, and she's whinnying like mad. So I've come back. So I've come out here to see where she is, to make sure she's okay. Oh, Nita. Yeah, Tanya said put her in a stable, but hello, Nita. She's on her own too. Hello, Nita. Hello, Nita. Oh, what a night. Right then. So I'm just going. Get Nita in there. <laughs> Come on, Nita. <whistles> Come on, Nita. Hey, have I left you all night on your own? Hey. <laughs> Hello, kid. Hello, beautiful. You all right? You ready to come in? Huh? Have a little bit of scranny. Let's go. in time for any of that but sounds looks good it's six o'clock in the morning out for a little little walk I've come across one of the semi horses here I've come across this beautiful horse with a view. I know. Look at the view. Yeah. Oh my god, what a beautiful Look. place. Look at that breakfast. I know. <laughs> and who um, do we have over here? The middle door, isn't it? Yeah. Whistle. <laughs> yes, yes. She was looking at the front door. Anita. Anita. 
rideouts, is it? Little ride out. Because it is a ride to school as well, isn't it? Yeah. Well, we're just having a little hour out, going to Weymouth. Just saw this view. Wow. This is Portland, this side. And then that's the sort of road bridge. this little car off soon and then we're going to go back to work some of our horses in the yard. This is Weymouth. It's Weymouth Harbour I think. It's like, it's like Marbella isn't it? Take away. Ice cream. Helter Skelter. It's a little bit like Blackpool isn't it? A little bit. All the deck chairs to sit on. The old fashioned ones. So what a trip, I think it took us about six or whatever hours to get to get to Portland, which is this little little island with a land bridge to it. And uh, what a lovely place, never been there before. Right near Weymouth, I think I've been to Weymouth before. Um, and we had a little, little um, a Sue, the owner of the property, uh, let us use a little car, which was brilliant, thanks Sue. Um, you know, we had a little chill out for a while. Now I was, well, I think we got there on the Thursday, the, the Clinic and demo was on the Saturday, which gave me Friday really. And I said to Sue, look, you know, uh, you made us so welcome here. They sorted so much out for us. They gave us the TP, which is novel really, isn't it? To, to stay in the TP. Um, and all that was sorted for us. Gave us all our food, um, drink, everything. No expense spared for us. Uh, so I said, look, Sue, you know, I'm gonna help you with a few horses now on the Friday. I was quite happy with everything else sorted out. So they've got so many horses there. They've got a string which do this, uh, the trek in with beautiful views over the ocean. It's a lovely feel good place. Uh, lots of land on Portland, but they've got a lot, a lot of horses that they're taking. Some are rescues, some are like difficult horses because they're very good horse people. They know, they know what they're doing. Obviously to run a safe trekking center, they obviously know their horses. So I said, if you've got any that are a little bit more difficult than me, want something a little different approach and there were several uh but one one particular one uh, was a horse that that couldn't be caught it was uh, it'd been there quite a while and it had learned to jump over if you pressurize it would jump over a fence and then join other horses and it kind of learned to keep itself alive by not being caught uh fortunately there was a head collar on it which hopefully will help me but you don't know if i'll catch it yet uh and but they're big fields so no matter what attempts made, it kind of, when push comes to shove, it would just jump over the wall to the next lot of horses. So we've got that one. We've got one that um, wouldn't bridle. They have to use it, use it, um, use a, like a lever, a, um, bitless lever nose piece. There's that one. And, you know, there's a, there's a few horses I helped her with, basically, on the Friday. And you'll see some of that now. And there is a bit of learning. One that wouldn't pick its feet up needs, needs sedating for that. Um, yeah, inter interesting set of horses. So we'll go into those uh, and have a look at some of those now. Hope you get something from these. Okay. So basically this is what she has to be ridden in. Don't come closer. Um, right, so yep. when this pulls, yep. when the reins pull, this and this nutcracker effect, that's actually a very mild one. Some are like rawhide and they're, they're, they're worse. But, She's very strong, is yeah. that right? She's strong to ride. And a lot of that is to do with these because they get tense, more tense and rigid because that closes their jaw up. So you, you're much better off if you can get a snapple in there, okay? Problem is, she won't have a snapple in. No. Uh, and it's been attempted a lot. Yeah. She throws her head away and hops with the two front feet. Is that, is that right? Um, any girls, have you seen what happens with the snapples? Yeah, she does. Up uh, in the air. Yeah, yeah. she will. And yeah, but she'll spin quite really, really quick yeah. as well. She Apparently as well, she can awesome. kick if she gets upset. That's what Sue yeah. said, is that right? Yeah. So there's a lot going on here. She, she, she's convinced that she kind of saves herself by doing this. In the ideal world, I. I'd do it like 
couple of days groundwork with her. I haven't got time for that, but I'd get respect to space, do all my groundwork, which we'll be doing tomorrow with the horses. But I'll just see what I think now and see if we can just change your opinion a little bit so that, that you can work on from that and do certain things. So we're going to see what we've got. Okay, will I be able to drop her head down? That's the first thing, she needs to relax and relax around me. It's an art to, to use them, an art. And I studied those animals for years. And I ain't even good with them. You, you won't get a light horse with them. That's why she's pushing forward and bracing those animals, because they leave her. They're levers. They, they know, as them levers come up, you, you're pushing down on their nose, gristle, and under their chin. All right, now, if I go to put my finger in her mouth, She's probably gonna go, yeah? Mm -hmm. Do you agree? Yeah. Would you like the gate shut? Do you think she's gonna go like that? No, she just go up. she go up in the air. Right, well, okay, let's see. So first of all, I'm gonna show her she gets rid of me. Not there, not there, not there. There. Right, so we'll do that a few times. She gets rid of me when she works with me, yeah? wouldn't melt yeah. so but, but but we'll see what we've got now then so I'm gonna go now for uh, a thumb and I'm gonna ask her that, that she doesn't get rid of my thumb till she comes down now, she didn't rear she got rid of my thumb here you with it so the, the place she gets rid of my thumb Thumb in is not there. Not there. I'm going to stay with this now if I can. Shutting my eyes. Shutting my eyes. I'm sticking with this now. Sticking with this. Sticking with this. Thumb in to open the, open the mouth. It's really good. So here she comes. Yes. <coughs> that clear what I've done. She pushed a bit there. Now that's evident with the hackamore, because the hackamore's the same thing here. She should be light like that.
Great, that's worked into our favours. Then we can move a little bit more. Until she's sick of it. Give her a chance. Good timing. Good timing. One, two, three. Take it away. She's almost feeling proud of herself here, isn't she? What do you think? Yeah. Yes, she said. Yeah, she says I am. Look at that. Right. So the back one, she's not good at all. that really well and then I'd expand on that I'd, I'd have that work with the with the finger better tomorrow and better the next day ready for me to drop that in there the rope that's what I'd be putting in there okay oh she's accepted that she's accepted I didn't see that though. no 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 she's it no she hasn't yet but I'd oh, want I'd want this okay. better right. I've just managed to get her here and accepting my fingers now you need to crack a jaw. Just someone being able to, before she was clamped, saying there's not a hope. And then if you go, if you keep going, I'm going to hop rear and throw you. So first was acceptance for this, or this way. Second was acceptance of my hand around the muzzle, so she got rid of it there. Then it was the finger to crack the mouth, mouth open. So now she's relaxing enough here for me to crack the mouth now. So then you build on that, not having to push it back. 
she's very, and that's where all this comes from. She decides herself what ne she needs to protect herself. She's not looking for support anymore, is she? But now she would, she would with me now. We'd build on that. I'd have a bit in within three days. Start bending her properly. Start training her properly. You know. Look, one little tap. Then she's with me. What? Look, she's with me. She's starting to be with me by just saying, "Stay with me." Yeah. So I would sit on a chair here and do that for an hour. Stay with me. Because you want them staying with you. This is this is just like a rain. So when you're up in the saddle, you want the mood you want them with you. When you've got a uh, when you you've got an attachment to a horse, they need to be with you mentally. So when you ride them, they're with you. But if they're allowed to look there, look there, look over there, we lose contact. No, stay with me. I'm all you need. See? This stuff's so old. It's being taught again now. This is what all all kids should be taught. This stuff, shouldn't they? On to the next one. Come on. <laughs> With absolute confidence, right? Tell me when you've picked it up. Yeah, that'd be nice and loose and mess about with it. Right? And then tell me when you put it down. How's that? Yeah? Now, do you think you'll be able to rub that muscle if you stand where I do? Yeah, rub the muzzle, go, go down the side, go down, down the, go, go, go further in there so you're going to bridle her. Yeah, bring, bring, her, bring, her, bring her head round to you. Come on. There, there good girl. How's that feel? Good? Any better than it was? Yeah. You're doing well, you are. you've just seen me working with for quite a while there and that's like a load cut out obviously the video would be too long of being cut out but you saw the gist of it uh, most of the, the bits that were necessary to see a uh, very troubled horse uh, but but deep down in there a nice horse um you know it wouldn't it needs to date him for having its feet done it needs it will not you can't get a bit in there so there's they've got these that lever device over the nose because you can't get a bit in there yeah uh, you know um will rear uh will threaten to kick as kicked quite troubled really won't won't accept a hose which you won't see on this video but i i tackled that as well and uh you know if i'd gone for a day there i think i would have got further but i felt like um i'd done enough for that horse that horse had been quite through quite a bit and it had been rearing with me to a certain extent in the stable as well so i felt like we were really getting somewhere i was getting my thumb in its mouth it was kind of releasing itself by coming to me not away uh it was backing up away nicer because it wouldn't back up before picking the feet up i got the the young girl there to do the same and someone else to do it uh, i felt like for going forward you go backwards so what I do ideally the next day, but the next day was a, was the demo and that. I uh, hope they're doing all right with it. I have, I, I, I'm going to speak to Sue, um, you know, and have a chat and do a like a update on how those particular horses I helped are going. But yeah, I'd gone I'd gone far enough, guys. You've got to re reward the slightest t try, and the tries were so deep, so meaningful. And that was it. Uh, like I say, a lot of the places I go. I haven't got the luxury of time. I've gone a long way and I have to keep going to basically to save the horse or save somebody from injury. So that was a the situation there why the, 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 the girls know what they're doing. I put a start in there for them to start thinking about bridling with maybe a bit of rope or a rubber bit, maybe with some jam on it or something like that. But I put the start in there and those feet do not need sedate and they can work on that. I've put the, the basis in there of that. So yeah, so now we're gonna head off now to the one that couldn't be caught. An amazing story, the, the head collar's on it. The horse has been there for, for a long time. It, it was put in with some other horses because they're big fields. And then they decided after it settled in to go and catch it, well, it wasn't being caught. I think they were aware that maybe it was not a good catcher, but you do the usual thing. You take all the horses out the field and you think, yeah, this'll do it now. No, nope, not having it. And if you pressurise the horse in any way, shape or form, it'll jump the walls. 
So obviously it's got some pop on it. It'll jump the walls and then it's okay again. The pressure's gone. It'll be with another load of horses. So that's become repetitive now. So I did ask the head, uh, rang I say wrangler, the, the, the head um, uh, horse apprentice there, who's, who's very, very good with horses. She, I said like, you know, have you obviously um, took another horse in? She said, oh, of course we have. But no, won't have it. Won't go near another horse if you're holding it. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, have you tried electric tape closing up? Uh, yeah, just blast through it or jump. I said, well, can we try it? And I can see how bad the problem is. You'll see what happens with that. Uh, it's a, as soon as it starts to feel threatened. So basically, you've got a horse that can go into all different uh, huge fields and, and, and will not be caught. Cool. I mean, what future is that? I mean, it's, it's a terrible situation, really. So I thought, if I can help Sue in any way, shape or form, I can get this horse caught. Now, uh, you'll see how we go about attempting this. Um, but I came up, okay, eventually after what you'll see with the horse escaping through us, um, you'll see, I'll, I'll button again. I, I, have a look, see how bad this catching problem potentially is. After several attempts going just as it has for everyone else, I came up with a genius idea, if I do say so myself. Um, and um, I, asked, I asked if there's any pony there or horse that the horse um, kind of uh, connected to. And they said, yes, there is. There's a little section A and they're always together and they win to each other and groom each other a little, a little gray. I said, right, have you, obviously you brought that one in. Yes, we brought it in, but it still won't let you get near. So I came up with this idea. I got one of my safety clips, okay, one of my safety clips. And I, I tied it in the corner of, the, of its field, of, of that uh, one that couldn't be caught's field. I tied it there. Obviously, when we were around it tying it, the horse was down the bottom miles away. You didn't want to know. Uh, obviously, it's, you know, it's, it's a master now of not being caught, obviously. And we tied it safely because I set it so it could, if it got into trouble, it would pull out of my, of my safety tie. And lo and behold, I said to everybody, oh, there were three of us at the time, but we all moved back. Of course, the little pony started whinnying. And there you go. The, the horse came to its, um, you know, to its uh, call. 
and we left them there like so there was no pressure for a long time and that continued for a little while but still the horse um you know even though it was tied if you put too much pressure it would escape down the bottom again but it would go straight back up so we got it sus that if we if we keep out the mix it'll go up to its friend so then i had another idea then to get a load of people from the campsite and we all uh, did a semicircle around and i said right when the horse goes to escape everyone's got to jump up and down like this and eyeball the horse right and clap if need be uh, and then immediately the horse t goes to turn away back to its friend silence everyone stay quiet and that's what we did for quite a long time so that that the horse knew the option wasn't to flee anymore the quiet time was with the little pony and you'll i'll pick it up now and you'll see how this kind of pans out starting to get somewhere now i'm feeling i'm starting to get somewhere it's not fleeing from me as much i'm milling around you know and if you notice there what i'm starting to do is offer my hand and what i'm doing as soon as as soon as the horse kind of considers me my hand is coming away so my hand doesn't become a threat to grab by by looking at me considering me my hand goes away so the horse starts to feel empowered that if it looks at me a little bit like one eye and two eye one eye they're fleeing see but pressure two eyes you you back off so i'd done that for quite a while which was good the horse started to I think realize there's something some kind of language going on here 
um, and I just plugged away like this. Now the strangest thing is about to happen. We, I'd milled around there for, I, don't, I reckon it was about 45 minutes with everyone fair play to all the people that were helping. You know, he stood fast there and I kept asking for everybody, although everybody wanted to watch. I can understand everyone wanting to watch. I kept saying, please don't watch, just look away. You know, just have a natter between yourselves like it's nothing. Uh, but that, that was just suddenly really weird. I kind of tried not to eyeball it, but at the, at the corner of my eye, I looked at it. it had sh in that corner, at that moment you see now, shut its eyes and it lowered it. It just started breathing completely differently. It was as if like, it's inevitable, you're gonna catch me now. That's it, it accepted me to catch it. It, it just, and, and you'll see me catch it now, but it is a little bit hairy fairy because it. I was willing, <laughs> crazy really. I was, once I, I, I got it, I, I, I would have tried everything to hold on to that horse. I'd have probably gone over the wall with it, like a silly old fool for being dragged. How crazy is that? But that's the kind of thing we do. Um, so yeah. You're going to have to dismantle it this end.
Collins. Can't leave here without <laughs> catching your <laughs> spear. From this morning, yeah. first thing. Remember, Clive gave us a nice area. drink last night. <laughs> <laughs> That's as well to one. <laughs> Don't let it out in the big field yet, will you? Huh? She's gonna get upset now with her going. So I did it. I got it back. Well, it was a joint effort. It wasn't just me, was it? Uh, chuffed to bits. I tell you, I was tired after that. But yeah, how brilliant was that? But sometimes when you 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 go forward with something, you can cause another problem. Now we put the horse in the stable. I've just got to go in the stables now and get used to people. Um, meet all the people that would be looking after it obviously for a few days uh, or even like a week like so it's on box rest then put it in a little enclosure you know like a little courtyard or something and, and and do that so there's a process now before you'd ever let the horse out but uh no one could catch catch the horse in the stable no one could, seriously so i couldn't leave it like that could i, I couldn't leave the horse in there no one could catch it because when anyone goes in there it climbs the walls it try there's a window out the back so it kind of tries to get out of there and it will push itself up against the wall and breathe hard and, and not not as if to kick you but will back up and be worried so i worked a few times on it uh on the friday night and after the demo because uh, we didn't leave until quite late after the demo so i got the girls who were going to be involved with uh looking after the horse and i showed them uh the, the routine because the horse showed me the routine to catch it and basically you go in there it would move away uh, i'll tell you exactly what happened it, it, the only way it would let you catch it it would move back away then it would move around to its left go to the far window you then go in you walk towards it a little bit you know not eyeballing it but walk towards it, it would then turn to its left again walk forward to like one part of that stable so you were in the left eye because it's gone right full circle. And then you just wait a minute. You had to touch its neck down the bottom of its neck. And then you would you would just gently uh, get get the uh, the halter and I put a little string underneath to make it easier. That's how she, she said, that's how you catch me. That's the only way I can cope with it. So I did it many, many times. Then I showed the girls and they did exactly the same thing. So, you know, it's a, it's a crazy story, isn't it? But that that's, and obviously in the future, it'll be different. Um, but uh, yeah, now we're about to start on the demo now. Uh, quite a lot of people turned up for this demo. It was a very, very, very hot day. Uh, sand was very dry and bless us, Sue had been watering it, and watering and watering it. Still a little bit dry, but, but we got there, I think. So you'll see some of that now. Here she is, this is the morning of the demo. You're geared up, kiddo. You're all ready. <laughs> right, I'm gonna give her a bit of breakfast. And then give it. I'm gonna leave, leave the reins alone, okay? And I'm gonna try and see if I can direct her with just my legs here. So if I wanna come towards the crowd, I'm gonna look, put my leg back, and she'll come in. So always it's my leg behind the girl. If I want to come in here, my leg goes behind the girth, she'll turn in. Behind the girth, she'll turn in. Behind the girth, she'll turn in. Behind the girth, If I, if I squeeze my legs in now, and she'll drop them, but I've got to take them off at exactly the right time. Right, see? So that if she gets high-headed, worries about something, I can, I can drop her head down a little bit. Okay? It's a really good 
good good thing to have. So we don't want hollow in our horses. So if I if I lope in a circle and, and, and use my legs to drop drop the head down, okay? Really important. Now, so how do you Right, I'd sit in the stables. I'd, no, I don't want to come back here because really I want that to mean hold. Right? I want that to mean hold. Right there. Okay? But here, I held it and up. She's dropping already for me. I want to just hold. It's a straight arm up and then you let them follow it down. So, But I'm taking my legs off at the same time. So I might do that a hundred times. Yeah? I might do that a hundred times. So she ends up following this down like that. Then I take that away and just start squeezing and take it up. Make sense? You build up to that. But it's a great thing to have, that is. It's a great thing to have. Now, I'm going to show you the hind quarters over. So there's the weight on the, on the front of the horse there. Now, there's the weight on the back of the horse. She has to have a weight on the back to do that. Now, she has to have the weight on her front. Do that now on the back. Do that. So, did you see what we're doing on the ground? It's no different. Taking her forward, and I needed to stop her kicking the saddle, and I pushed her. So, I pushed the neck here. Pickpocket. See, guys, always. I'll always use. When I flex her, look. What am I doing with my hand? I'm saying, don't move. If I don't touch her, she's thinking about moving. Because that is the cue. Done. Come out. Okay, I'm not so these reins stay. Okay? Now I'm gonna put my outside leg on. Come in. Now inside leg, come out. Inside leg put out. Now, outside leg, put in. Now inside leg, put out. And I'm always consistent. And that's basically one is the inside rein. Three is the outside leg. One and three to come in. One stays as it is, and number two is the inside leg to go out in a circle. In, in the circle. Or out in the circle. So there's number two. Number two is going out. Okay, so then now this is number one. Now I'm going to go out in the left circle. I'm going to go in, in the left circle. Now out in the left circle. Now straight. Now stop. Now back up. Now just lower your head and go quiet. Good girl. You're making me look like I know what I'm doing. So, I'll go loose again. If you want light horses, right, drive, drive, drive. Yeah, she went, she went nice. Pick up, drive, drive, drive. She went nice. I've not failed to get a horse light by doing this like that. Pick up, drive, 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 drive. There, she was light. Even though Mel's made a knot. <laughs> drive, drive. We need more, yeah? That's what this collection does. That's what all the lightness does. That feels of me. So I'm peddling that one, 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 that one. Bring that out here. Bring, step that out. Back up, slow, 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 now, a bit quicker, you know, so I'm getting to her feet, land it, land it, and land it, forward with it, pick this left up, land it, land it, pick it up, land it, pick it up, land it, now take that left in front of the right, 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 stop it, Back to the left, right, left, right, pick the left up, pick the left up. That was beautiful. She didn't hit, she didn't miss one then, did she? All right. This left needs to go behind the right, behind the right, behind the right, behind the right, behind the right. Now in front of the right. Now in front of the right. In front of the right. Now behind the right. 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 Now in front of the right. Right. Was I right there with that? Yeah. So she knows that I am, when I'm locked into her feet, she's looking for the answer with her feet all the time. She hasn't got the, she can't bother. This is how Charlotte rides, like this. 
the phone. <laughs> <laughs> and I must admit, they love it for it. The horse is either prefer a shot to me, I don't know. Um, um, so that's, now I'll ride loads like this. Loads I'll ride like this. But then every now and again I say, come on now. We gotta, we gotta look, you know, we gotta go and get something done. So now, look, a lot of horses, you know, you, you pick them up like that, and then a bit, yeah, stop, lower your head, relax, you know, all of this up and down, speed-wise, all helps this. If I put my hip back, a uh, hip in, right, you'll pick that leader. Right, right, one is a, a um, which one did I just do? So if I'm going to come towards you now, she's, see how she's hard to me there, so what am I going to do? Wait for that. She's having a good opportunity. You see, she went hard to me, and she's hard there, so I'm waiting for her to come off it. Yeah? Okay? Well, never release unless she goes nice and So if I wanted a left lead, hips in, there's the left lead. Yeah? I go left lead again. Okay? Today, so you're all sort of a bit above average, I reckon. Um, but going to do now not use a flag and just use my rope and cluck now while i'm talking to you they have got no interest in the horse at all while i'm talking to her she needs to stop all of this on you that's what yeah, you're here for isn't I it do. I feel like yeah. is that your partner yeah. so i'm going to
just I've just been with her for seconds. Seconds. And I've got a feeling she ain't gonna think of look. So there, now with me. Yeah? Mm -hmm. What's the saying? A new one? Yeah. But if you're pushing on her, uh -huh. she knows you're nothing. Yeah. Just look at the size nothing. of her. Yeah. He's started rearing more. We had the vet out to do his teeth a few weeks ago and he had a sore under his chin. And before she did anything, she picked the sore under his chin and he went straight up. And every time he sees her now, he just goes vertical. Wow. Straight as an arrow, yeah. right? He's learned how to straighten up. Come on, son. Change there? Yeah. Or not? Yeah, he's thinking about it, but decided not to. <laughs> 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 and he's giving my space as well. He throws his head all the time. Hmm? He throws his head all yeah, the well, time. I'm gonna... He didn't learn, did he? No. Right? driving this is what they do in the wild they either follow or they're driven I don't want that attitude so I'm going to keep this up on this side till I get an attitude I'm sure she's starting to really think differently of me now That's a change. Yeah. A little bit of tarsism, but a change. Just felt like that was a change. I wasn't having to use this too much yeah. then. So she's following the feel of the rope more. And you go. That's good, isn't it? Yeah. You can see it's 
considering I went flying. It's yeah. 1.30 now. Yeah, so lunch now till 2.30 then, yeah? Yeah. And then we'll now, everyone on the clinic, all the riders did absolutely brilliantly. There was inroads made with each horse because we went slowly. Uh, and I kept going over things and over things and over things. So it was a great clinic. The 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 audience, the people were were brilliant too. Everyone had a laugh. Everyone learned. That's my job is just to to show some things to add to a tour box that someone already knows. But that particular horse you just saw me work with there, I think without a doubt, it's one of the most difficult horses on Portland. One of the most difficult, one of the more difficult horses I've brought, I've had come to a clinic. Uh, but there was inroads made with it definitely. It got the whole shot on me dragged me they said it was going to happen i kind of smirked i says oh yeah but it did didn't it boom gone uh, but that's what it does it drags people off it uh, rears a lot if it's not happy with something both riding and on the ground very difficult always has been the owners have got other horses which are great so it's one of those things it's a misunderstood horse it's quite old set in its ways convinced it's doing the right thing but i felt like we were getting somewhere with that horse without a doubt i just felt felt okay about it in the end but a very 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 funny thing happened uh, i would say about an hour after uh, the clinic itself after the riding side of it i uh, the, the parents uh, of the the girl that owned the horse well they own it but it's the it's the daughter riding it uh, came running up and said steve you know we've we're, we're ready to go now and basically the, the girl rides at home we're ready to go now and he, that horse is not having any of it it's not it's starting to rear again, won't ride out, won't leave the horses, won't. Um, and I, I said, I'll oh, come now, then and have a look. Now, I walked down, there, there's the horse playing up. I walked down, I went through like a bit of a gap. And the horse the horse saw me, and I, I looked at the horse. Uh, admittedly, I was carrying one of my flags with me, right? Although I didn't direct it at the flag. And it was just crazy. Everyone said, oh, my life. That horse knew that I that I'd gained some respect, and I I I was kind of alpha of the team. It took one look at me and trotted off off the place. It was wish it we got that on film. Uh, it just shows you, doesn't it? You know, obviously there's history. A lot of no's have been asked, have been uh, said to their to the owners, and they've got a job on now. Maybe they they can. Look, it's the twenty eight or thirty. Maybe they can learn a lot from that horse, which will help in the future. You know, that's why I I look at it down on the neck and wait to look for her to give because the only release she'll get from me is when she gives searches she's pulling on the bit and she's searching she searched she searched and she's gonna work out that it's in here it's towards me now she thinks it's her feet again, so I'm going to say no, it's not that. Stop the feet, stop the feet, and give. Stop the feet, give. You see the give? <laughs> really good way, of, you know, good. Then I'm going to come up. If 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 she moves, I'm going to try and stay with it. Right? right this is what I expected, really. Right. Now I'm going to hold and wait for it to give. Little bit. Anyone notice yeah. it? I would do this uh, hundreds of times. You know, I would. I'd just sit with your friends down there. I'd bring around. I'd just play around with Lex and that. Yeah. And then there's one side that side. Yeah. What you got to learn is that hand thing. Now I used to sit in a hotel room. Tanya will tell you, with reins. And I used to sit on the chair with the bud, doing this, just <laughs> constantly doing it. And one of your new saddles you just bought from the tax store. Oh yeah, it's out of the saddle. Yes. <laughs> it's true. Right, you've got to get this light on the ground. Ready for when we get on in a minute, because we've got to do what? Lift up, run your hand down, and wait for the foot to stop to go soft. So it all ties in. All ties in. First thing you need to know is where a good place is. Right. Oh. Right. So, you give me a little rub now. Give me a little rub? Yeah. Stop. Yeah, give him a little rub. All <laughs> rub his bum and everything. Rub everything. Shh. Yeah. Good boy. 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 Good boy.
So with a lot of horses, I'll do this, I'll let them... Now then, the next horse is Lewis. Lewis is the, is the owner of this little little pony. And let me tell you, there wasn't a dry eye in the house when I'd finished working with Lewis. Um, Lewis has been... Um, his whole existence is uh, the yard. Um, his whole existence is, is that little pony and the yard. It's all he lives for. Nothing else matters in his life. And uh, he's a lovely gentleman and he's got a... A skill where he he, he uh, does accents, and he when I met him, he, he was talking like a brummie, like like a Peaky Blinder, like where I come from in Birmingham, that kind of thing. And he was very good at it. Uh, but I'd been pre-warned uh, that Lewis would do that. Uh, but what I love, one of the nicest, gentlest people you could ever meet was Lewis. But he got a little problem. He came up to me and said, "Look, I've got a problem." He wasn't in the clinic, but I just let him come into the clinic. Uh, he said uh, he, he loves his pony and he's got a problem. He, he, he can't get on off the ground because it spins, won't stand still. And when he goes to the mountain block, it, it keeps moving away. And it's kind of where you have to hold, hold it. And I thought, well, if I could just improve that, that will make his day uh, and kind of might set things up. They, they get on really well. There's times when you don't want to alter anything in a relationship. And I felt like that. I didn't want to do any grammar. I didn't want to alter anything between between these two at all. Didn't want to alter anything. Uh, but I thought if I could just improve what he'd asked me to improve. So that's why I worked on working on the siding up and the, and the standing still to get on. And uh, I hope you enjoy this little bit. Uh, and do you know what? Most of your horses, if they don't stand still to get on or won't side up, stuff there that can help you. Maybe do a little bit of work somewhere. Yeah. Even if it's riding work. But make this a lovely place. Make it a lovely place right here. Nice rug, all right? Pop up and give him a nice rug. That's it. All right, pop back down. Walk around here. Do the same. All right, just rub. Put your hand on his forehead. Go all the way around now. Get off, all right? Yeah. Okay. Straight on there like it's, like it's nothing. Jump on there. Go on then. Now rub him. Rub him. Now get off. Jump off. Jump off. Well done. He didn't bite you, did he? No, he didn't bite. You're he does have a tendency to bite though. Yeah. He's just playing with you. Okay. Right. Okay, that's good. Get down and give him a nice rub. Gently his neck and his <laughs> Better. He hasn't thrown his quarters over. He hasn't walked off. Right then. Do you think, Lewis, you can walk around now and bring him to the block? Right? Yeah. Walk on. Walk on. And round. Round here, Lewis. Round here, look. And you set him at the block. Come in over there and walk him to the block. So, Sue, you can help him with this. Just this, whenever he moves, I wanted him to move, he hasn't moved. <laughs> <laughs> right, um, so bring him forward a bit. Forward. Little, little bit more. And there. Give him a rub, just, just gently rub him though. You don't have to do everything fast. That's better. Now, give him the rope. You go back up now and, and, and hop yourself up there and then rub him. Rub the life out of him. Rub him nicely there. Tell him how good he is. That's it. <laughs> On you get. Yeah. And then just give him a rub. And he hasn't walked off, has he? No, he's not walked off once. Yeah. So if you jump off now. Yeah. Right. Now, the next stage is without this. Because apparently if you pick the reins up, he moves off. Right, is that right? Yeah. 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 Always 
Try and remember this too. Yeah. I'm watching too. I, I know, but you, I have to have somebody help me sometimes. You don't forget, because I forget. So if you and Sue are watching, you've got a better chance, haven't you? Yeah. Huh? Right, so look, number one, number one is, set these feet there, that's number one. Would you see me rock? Yeah. Two is, get hold of the reins. Has he moved? He hasn't moved. And I've got a bit of pressure there now, look. All right, two, three, three is, the old jumper thing, innit? Isn't it? They're always gone at that, aren't they? So the jodper and this. And he's thinking, are you joking? <laughs> <laughs> are you joking? So that, that, he didn't move, did he? He did not move once. I just, so, and I'm moving myself now. Right? Now, what I'm going to do, number one, he's done it. Two, get the old reins, he hasn't gone. Now what, if he went, if he went, I would disengage him quite a few times and just say, right there, so he's moved. He's moved, doesn't he? So I'll just keep on disengaging him. All right, so he caused his own movement, so. So, number one, number one, are you set? Yes. Number two, yes. Yeah. Number three, the old four. Up, yeah, the old stirrup, yeah. Five. Now he went, didn't he? Yeah, he so we're gonna So I'm just gonna keep on until he offers a stop now himself. He'll say how much more. Now at the same time I'm doing this, I'm working on what? Rib cage. Softness. Now did you see him offer a stop? Yeah. I all do it. Right, rock, yes. That, yes. That, yes, that, yes. Lewis, come round, kiddo. You like our oh, kid? Our oh, kid. <laughs> you want it in you? Right. A little rock on that. This hand firmly. Just, just on this. On this. And then you rock so that those feet. That's it. Because what happens is this little pony. That's it. That's it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> right, these little ponies like this, the feet were ready to go, they're not ready at that. So you get that, so they're, they're ready to stay, not to go. If you look at ponies, what they do with their legs when they're, they're getting mounted on, the ones you know move, they're ready. They're already, they're ready for this foot to go. So that, that's quite good there. Okay, so now get your reins. Yeah. Lovely. Now get your foot in the stirrup and I want to see you get on. From the ground. Is that girth all right, Steve? Uh, let me do the girth. Do you want me to do the girth? Yeah, just on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you okay? I'll do it. Can you get on from the ground, sir? Yeah. 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 Oh, just... oh, in, front, in front of everybody. Better than I could do. There. Yeah, I think so, but I'm going to go the other side anyway. So you don't flop off. <laughs> so we've done that, yeah. yeah. Now get the reins. And I want you to get on there now, Lewis. Ready? Yeah. On you get. On you Three, get. Die. Right. Now sit there with loose rein. Give him a rub. Rub his bum. And get off. And off you get, Lewis. Now rub him, rub him. Just nicely, rub him. Bit of a looser rein. What do you think of that? Oh, wow. <laughs> that was a show. Yeah. Huh? What do you think of that, mate? Thanks. Is You're that? Right. Now then, I'm going to make it more difficult for you now. You loose that now. I'm going to take him for a walk around there. I'm going to come back and I'm going to tell you what to do. And you're going to get on him. All right? And then you're going to get on him there, all right? Yeah. And that gives you a start. <laughs> okay. So you're going to go around the other side. I can do it. Remember number one. Look at his feet. His feet, yeah. And rock. And 
Rock the saddle here. Hold that. Hold that and, and rock it till them feet go. Go on, keep going. Lovely, lovely. He's ready for you to get on now. So now get the reins. Get the reins. Right. I'll hold this, okay? And then on you get. You all right, kiddo? And up, and up you get. And you're on. <laughs> now rub him. Rub him. <laughs> now it doesn't matter if he moves, because you just move him until he wants to stand. So if you gradually get off now, we'll take him to the mountain block, okay? Right, good boy. Look at that. Hi guys, we just had these beautiful crab langrinis. They were amazing. From Weymouth 51, Dorset Crab Langrini. Mwah, the best. Thank you so much. You're welcome. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed that. That was quite a few days we had, which we do a lot lately. We go away and there's a lot happens to us while we're away. I've got um, the, the, I've got some horses coming up, haven't I? I've got some uh, biting. I've got a couple of uh, biting horses. Uh, one that won't accept needles. Got to go to that one. Uh, there's several uh, great videos. Hopefully, will be will be coming soon. Uh, in a couple of weeks time, what's the date? Uh, we're going to Blackpool uh, uh, in Lancashire. Yeah, I've got my mum's funeral, and then we come back for two days, and then we go to Blackpool, and we've got a demo, a demo. Um, there. The penny Farm. Uh, what, pe where is it? It's a Penny Farm. It's a horse. Penny Farm. Welfare. It's a welfare. On Indoor Saturday, arena. We're there. On Saturday the 17th of yeah. September. Going to be a great demo because I'm taking Nita. Going to show everything. Where this heads. And then I've got uh, three horses. Uh, one, uh, it bites. When you put the rug on, it bites. It caused tissue damage and that. Uh, hoping to start an improvement on that. I've got a very bolsh horse that pushes people over. Uh, can be a little bit, well, a lot difficult. And I've got one I'm going to be riding to try and improve a bit of lightness. Um, Benji. Uh, uh, yeah, lightness. I'm going to work on that one. So that should be really, and really good. And then we're going to have a lovely night out in Blackpool. Yeah, we're going to have a night out in Blackpool. That'll be not the Saturday night no, because Sunday. we're going to go uh, for a nice meal with the organiser. And then we've got a day in Blackpool and then we head back. So yeah, lots more to come, guys. And and, I just, uh, can I just say something? Yeah. And I'm sorry, guys, I'm over here. I just want to say that a lot of people message me saying, "Oh, well, how can I buy your flags? How can I buy your clips, etc." We do have a Shopify shop, uh, and I'll get James to put the link under the video. So you just click on that, and it takes yeah. you into the shop. Yeah, you've got your your clips there, which I'm I'm. My mission is to make sure everyone uses these clips. Safety clips. Safety clips. They are that good. Uh, we sell loads, just the stuff I believe in. We've got our boinging sticks, which are great. We've got our ropes, which we have a splice put in, and they're not 13 foot, too long for me. Uh, we have them about 10, 10 and a half foot. Great size for those with the splice in. No metal clip to it, horses under here. Our famous flags, uh, they're absolutely <laughs> brilliant. Our famous flags. Yeah, they're great. Uh, I keep, um, my, I've got some that have lasted such a long time. Uh, I, I spray them with a bit of uh, WD to keep them real nice and loose in and out. 
So yeah, just our main things we we sell. And what do we, we normally believe say? What? Huh? Please, guys, if you like, like and share like if you and can, share, uh, and comment. Comment. We'd, we love to read your comments. Yeah. Uh, and that's it. Last thing is, we've just completed our. Uh, it's supposed to be a three day camp, but it was kind of four and five days, wasn't it? Yeah. Absolutely great camp. Everyone who was on it was fantastic people. Uh, most want to come next year, yeah, don't yeah, they? Yeah, so we've only got a couple uh, of space lace. Uh, yeah, space that, space. That, that was really, really good. We had a disco, we had and next year is 23rd to the 25th of June. Yeah. That's the first 20... We're not sure we're going to do another yeah. one. Yet, but... so I, think, I think that's the end now. I need me tea. Yes, already. Uh, uh, Lamb. Uh, yeah. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, yeah, hopefully see you next week uh, with another... No, it's not next week in Blackpool. Oh, sorry. Uh, week after, isn't it? So yeah, happy trousers as usual, guys, and uh, see you again.